is up guys and welcome back to the vlog i have been waiting to make this video for probably about two years now and really there's no reason why i have put it off this long but i'm finally at that point where i'm like you know what let's see how much power this thing can make and i'm just really excited so i'm on my way over to darden tuning that's in santee california and uh without further ado here we go I think their plan is to kind of get started, get this thing set up. I'm not going to be there for this process, kind of like what we did with the STI. And then I'm going to come back I probably on Monday or Tuesday to kind of witness some of the dyno pulls. But I'm going to put everything in this video. This video is going to be awesome. I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm just going to put everything in this video. And the next time you'll see me, we'll be here at the dyno. So here we go. So I'm actually carless right now because the 36 is at Darden. So good friend of mine has an extra car he's letting me borrow i think it's a bmw 2 series okay so i know what you're thinking it's a 228 this is a 2016 228 it is the automatic which is unfortunate but you know i love the red the red interior is freaking awesome I will be looking for a red interior or a colored interior like I had on the E46. I had that cinnamon brown, which is freaking awesome. I think it just provides a little bit of contrast. This one has the piano black trim, which is actually a really nice trim on it. And I'm excited to drive it. You know, I, I think this is the four cylinder turbo. You know, it's not the N55, but it's a really nice car. The STI giveaway is gonna be ending in just a few days. So if you haven't gotten those entries in, uh, head over to our website, pick up some parts, pick up some merch, join Throttle VIP. All those will give you entries. Uh, every $1 you spend gives you an entry to win the STI, which is badass. You gotta know you guys have seen that car. Um, and yeah, if you want the opportunity to do it, check it out. competition right here it's gonna be me someday this is the master here Darden and uh, do you want to just give like a really quick rundown of where you're at because I know you started a little bit of the process yeah so I, so I did about two pulls so I'm making adjustments gotta log it uh, and then we'll go ahead and uh, do a full pull right now and right now we're running uh, just one wastegate spring so 10 psi to just get kind of a baseline Three hundred and eighty horsepower, and so blue is actually horsepower, and yellow is torque, um, and then this is boost. So you can see boost is going flat, and then all of a sudden it started creeping up top. Mm. Um, so and then it went really rich because of the creep. So we need to fix that, and then the power is going to go back up. So on uh, 91, it made 374 horsepower, 372 foot-pounds of torque. And that's what the curve looks like. And how many pounds of boost? About nine and a half. So nine and a half pounds of boost, 376 horsepower. It's pretty good so far. I'm excited to see what this thing can make on E85. All right, so, so far we've done 370 to the wheels. This is gonna be pretty much our last uh, dyno pull of 91. I made some timing adjustments, some fuel corrections, and 
Once I finish this pool, we'll start pouring in E85 and make real power. make a flex fuel conversion module. Uh, this is it right here. Actually, we have it wired in. It's not pretty yet, but this is our module. It measures the amount of ethanol in your uh, fuel, and then it can add additional fuel by extending your fuel injector pulse. Pretty basic, um, but it does work. If you put uh, half a tank of gas or half a tank of ethanol, it can figure out how much extra fuel it needs and do it precisely. So it works really well. We have a lot of success on the E36 and E46 platform with this module. This here, but a second module, it's a new module. I don't have a little sticker yet, but um, this module is a boost controller we're doing. And that boost controller, we're calling it Flex Boost, and it can uh, set your boost based on ethanol level, which is a pretty neat feature. So we'll program a gas boost level and a ethanol boost level, and it can vary between those two uh, based on your fuel content. It also has the ability to add two analog uh, five volt gauges to that module and display it on our app. So right now we're gonna wire your five volt out from your wideband sensor into it and we're going to add a map sensor so you can we can see how much boost you're making and that'll all be live data on our app and our app does like data logging and stuff so it's that's pretty, pretty neat cool. i think that's pretty rad yeah i think once we get it all set up and, and you see it i think it'll be pretty neat product so, so this module uh is a basic uh universal module work on any car that has port injection uh but yeah you can run this on a toyota a honda nissan uh, Chevy, Ford, we, we've run it on almost every kind of car you can think of. But uh, the key is it has to be port injection, so all these new direct injection cars we, we don't support. But so, so just to reiterate, just to keep it super, super simple, you can install the 8 Flex Fuel module on pretty much every car and convert your car to 85, uh, and which means you can make more power. So it's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna put the link to the 8 Flex Fuel module and their website and all that stuff, and you can check it out for yourself if you're interested in going that route. Um, and I'm very excited because uh, we're getting very close to putting in that Sunoco E85 and turning up the boost. So here we go. So yesterday, unfortunately, I had to leave. Um, it turns out that Darden and Tom actually had some issues with the intercooler piping popping off, I think around that 14 PSI mark. So we ended up making 440 wheel horsepower, but that's as high as they could go, uh, which is actually a really good number so far, but they think that they can go quite a bit higher as long as the intercooler piping gets sorted out. So uh, Mickey just followed me out here. I'm going to take the car back to the shop right now. We're gonna get the intercooler piping all sorted out and then bring it back here for some final dyno pulls. So we'll record that process. You know, I'm not super upset. Uh, Darden and Tom obviously did a great job and um, really thankful to have them on board with this project. And we'll get this knocked out and get it back here and see what those final numbers are. All right, so Mickey went ahead, as you guys saw, and he added that extra uh, bead roll, I guess you call it, uh, to the edge of each of those pipes. So it actually made that, um, that lip 
quite a bit larger and I think that's gonna be enough. Now, before we take the car back to Darden, I picked up a Torque Solution boost leak tester, essentially simulate more boost than we're actually running. So right now I think we're running 13 to 14 PSI. I think the highest we'd ever see is maybe 17. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set our air compressor to like 20 to 25 PSI. And as long as our system can hold 20 to 25 PSI, then it should be able to hold 17 and therefore we should be good to go. Turn up the boost, bring it back to Darden, uh, run that E85 and really see what this thing can puts down. He's telling me we should get to that 500 number. I've been really shooting to hit 500 at the wheels, but I also don't wanna push it. I don't wanna blow it up. So far, so good. We're gonna reinstall everything and I'll show you guys how to set up this little boost leak test and uh, we'll see if that works. All right, so we just finished tightening everything down. We've done our boost leak test up to about 22 PSI. We resealed um, all the fuel injectors, made sure everything is ready to go for Darden. So at this point now, I'm gonna put everything back together. Car is essentially good to go and go back to Darden for that final tune. And let's race some boost. Day two at the dyno here at Darden Tuning and we just got the car all set up. It's ready to go. I think we're about to do the first startup um, and uh, it's time to turn up the boost. Hopefully those intercooler uh, couplers stay on this time. That was the primary issue that we were having last time. And a huge shout out to Ricky and Mickey for helping me out. And you know, I like the sound of that. I'm gonna go ahead and call that 490. 490, yeah, 49.89. Check it out, we've logged your boost here. Going up to like so six. This is in the eight app? Yep, That's 16 PSI, 12 volt AFR. That's so, so cool. good. You can get so much data from that. Yeah. That's good, right? Alright guys, 
guys, so after going back and forth with Darden and Tom, we actually are deciding to stop at 492. I know it's so close to 500, my goal of 500 horsepower, we're so close. Um, we did a couple pulls right around that same power level and changing a couple things. And essentially there's a couple different things that I need to address before we decide to kind of take it over that next level. So the intercooler is lacking. Um, the intake air temperatures are actually pretty high, but man, 492 horsepower and about 470, 480 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, that's freaking crazy. I, I'm i so excited to drive the car, I can barely contain myself. So I don't even know what it dynoed at before, but I do know that on 91, even after they did the base tuning, we were at like 375 horsepower, I think, something like that. And now we're at 492 horsepower on that Sunoco E85R. So clearly, that's some pretty freaking awesome fuel. So huge thank you to Tom and Darden for kind of sticking with me. I know we're kind of back and forth, um, but man, this thing is about to rip and I am so excited. Unfortunately, as I drive back to the shop now, it's just gonna be me and I'm not gonna be picking up the camera uh, while driving. So if you want to see the in-car footage, I'm gonna grab a GoPro. That's gonna be the next video you're gonna see on the E36. Uh, GoPro footage, some really nice audio, I hope, um, and this thing ripping around. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Shout out to almost 800,000 subscribers. That's incredible. And uh, remember that if you wanna get entered to win that STI, we're giving it away in just a couple days. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.